Hello everyone, welcome back to ATP Creative Corner. In today's video, I am making this reversible tote bag. Before we begin, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. I make a new video on stitching every week. So please subscribe. For this tote bag, I have used a similar fabric with two different colors. When the orange fabric is on top, the handle will also be orange. I have used elastic and a button for closure. On the back side, we have a zipper pocket. Now when I turn the bag inside out, we have green fabric. And the handle will also be green here. This also has elastic and button closure. On the back side there is no pocket but inside you will have a zipper pocket. So the same zipper pocket acts like a back pocket for one color of fabric. When you reverse the bag it acts like an inner pocket. And the bottom of the bag looks like this. Now let's start with the making of this tote bag. Here I have taken two pieces of the main fabric and two pieces of the lining fabric of same dimension 14 inches in width and 18 inches in length. First. I am going to place the wrong side of the main fabric upwards like this and then I am going to place the shiny side of the interfacing on top of it like this. Now you can use hot iron so that the interface gets stick to the fabric but I give a stitch at the end to join them together. Once done this is how it's gonna look like. Next, to make the zipper pocket, I have taken a rectangular fabric which is 14 inches in length and 9 inches in width and I have taken a 9 inch zipper. Now, I will mark points 5 inches from the top of the main fabric like this and draw a straight line along these points. Now. I'll place the rectangular fabric with its wrong sides facing upwards like this, aligning to this line and matching the midpoints of both the fabrics. I'll use pins to keep the fabric in place. Now I'll mark a point 2 inches from the top of this rectangular fabric like this and draw a line along this point of length 8 inches like this that is 4 inches from the center on both the sides like this and I'll draw another line 1 cm below this line and form a rectangle like this now I'll give a stitch along this rectangle once done it will look like this next I'll make small triangles on both the ends like this And join them with a straight line. I'll cut the fabric open along these lines.
Now I'll pull the pocket piece of the fabric from the other side. So this rectangular hole is for the zipper to fit in. Now on the right side of the main fabric I am going to give a top stitch along this rectangular space. Once done it will look like this. On the other side I am going to place the right side of the zipper downwards like this. I will use pins to keep the zip in place like this. Now I'll adjust the zip such that it comes at the center of the rectangular space. Now I'll top stitch again on the main fabric along this rectangle. It's done. Now to finish the pocket, I am going to fold the fabric one on top of the other like this. And I will stitch on the three open sides. Once done, it will look like this. So when I am stitching on this side, I will fold the main fabric so that it is away from the stitch like this. I will do the same on the other two sides as well. I will fold the main fabric and then give a stitch. And a pocket is done now. Next for the handles I have taken two pieces of the main fabric and two pieces of lining fabric 3 inches in width and 23 inches in length. Now on the wrong side of the strips I am going to place the fusible interfacing like this. And I will give a stitch at the end to join them together. Now it's done. Now I will place the other two strips such that their right sides are facing together like this. I will give straight stitch on both the sides. Now with the help of safety pin I am going to turn the right side of the strips outwards. Now our handles with two different colors are ready. I will give a top stitch on both the sides. Now it's done. Next on the main fabric I am going to mark a point two and a half inches from the center like this. Now I will place the handle on these points such that the color on the handle that matches the main fabric faces downwards. I will give a stitch on them. 
I'll do the same thing for the other handle as well. While placing the handle to match with the main fabric, I am going to keep the orange side of the handle downwards like this. Now both the handles are attached. This is how it's going to look like. Handle matches the bag. Next I am going to place them one on top of the other like this with its right sides facing each other. Now I'll give a straight stitch at the bottom. Now it's done. Now I'm going to mark points two and a half inches from this stitch. Draw a straight line along these points. Do the same thing on the other side as well. I'll fold the fabric on this line like this. And fold it once again like this. Use sewing clip to hold the fold together. This is how it is going to look like at the bottom. Now I'll give straight stitch on both the sides. Now it's done. Now I'll pull the right side out. Now you can see a white space at the bottom and a triangular shape at the corners. The outer part of the bag is ready. For the lining, I am going to place the lining pieces one on top of the other with its right sides facing each other and give straight stitch at the bottom like this. Now it's done. Now I'll repeat the same steps that I did for the outer part of the bag. Drawing a line at 2.5 inches from the base like this on both the sides. Then I'll fold the fabric on these lines on both the sides. Fold it again like this. Now I'll give straight stitch on both the sides but I'll leave 3 inches gap on one of the sides unstitched. Once done, it looks something like this. Now on the main fabric, I am going to stitch a 3 inch long elastic at the center forming a U shape like this. Now I will give a stitch here. Next I am going to place the outer part of the bag inside the lining such that their right sides are facing each other like this. Yes. 
Make sure that the side seams are one on top of the other like this. I am using sieving clips to join them together. Now I will give a stitch on top such that the lining and the main part are joined together. Now it's done. Now through this 3 inch space I am going to turn the right side of the bag outwards like this. I'll push the raw edges inside like this and give a straight stitch here. Now it's done. Now I'll push the lining inside the bag like this. Now I'll give a top stitch here. This is how it's going to look like once done. For the closure, I am going to stitch a button in this region. Now it's done. Now I'll turn the bag inside out. Similarly on this side, I am going to see another button. And a bag is ready now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.